Good morning. It's Sunday. Monday. It's Monday. It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. 12.57 p.m. We're going to get hot dogs right now. That's the situation. Here we go. Wait. Wait. Alright, we left there. I got my hot dog and that's all I wanted. It's hard to go to those things because I feel like they're always talking to you about trying to join their stuff and I don't really want to join in on a fraternity or do any of that. So it's weird. And so I just got my hot dog. Well, I got her hamburger but judged the meat in it the whole time and didn't eat it. And so now she has it folded up. <laughs> and we're going to do homework because we have school tomorrow. Darn. Yes, a working door. Check it out one time. How's your yoga for the day? <laughs> and after three hours of homework, we leave. Molly stays, but she's gonna come down to dinner soon, I think, unless you're planning to ditch us. Are you planning to ditch us, Molly? I figured you were. All right, bye. Have fun with your homework. Bob, Aaron, come hither. Follow my camera. With this weird sunlight. Not weird sunlight anymore. Here you go. is to go outside and play frisbee right now and hang out a little bit with Mark because Mark's finally back because he's back doing they can't talk from hanging out with his fraternity uh, Joey's pissing me off right now. we were making fun of Mark because he didn't hang out with us all no. day we we're making fun of Mark because he didn't hang out with us all day no because he uh, was no. busy joining a fraternity and yeah, it's the. I am not the, joining a fraternity. It's the Pi Lambda. No, I'm not or joining like again. That. No, I'm not. So he's gonna join that, and it. we're gonna play frisbee with him, even though he's like a frat star now. I'm not joining a frat. Pass me the frisbee. Here you go. That was to you, but I'm trying to also. You got this one. Oh, great. Oh, a frat, one of his frat boys? Dude, here. This is so hard to do with one hand. All right, Frisbee is done, and it's nighttime. And this, we had to wait 72 hours for these to dry. Remember when we made this the other day? So we're gonna go bake these right now so I can use it. Grab yours, Aaron. Mark, grab yours, buddy, okay? Here's Mark's stuff. Should we not leave it? Yeah, we should put Mark's in the fraternity Mark. oven. I don't know, Mark, Mark, are you still chilling in your Okay, you bake well for the next hour, okay? Plates and stuff. Take her up so fast. Okay, so me, those are baking now. Molly and I are up in my room. We're about to watch this documentary that I saw Ben Brown watching. It's called Cow Traversy, I think. Can't remember. I'll know in a sec, and I'm gonna link it below. Um, and you should definitely check it out. It looks like an environmental thing. Um, it looks really interesting, so I'll probably talk a little bit about it after I watch it, obviously. But we're gonna watch that right now, and then I'll tell you some more about it. Definitely watch it, though. All right, so before I start talking about what I really wanna talk about, I just wanna show you guys my mug. It's now cooked, and I can drink, and I'm drinking tea out of it. But I kinda wanted to get into a more serious tone about 
the documentary that we watched, which is Cowtroversy. I'm I'm not gonna like link it anywhere in the video. I'll just link it below, and I'm gonna permanently link it below, and on my Twitter bio, and on my Instagram bio, so you can find it on any of those different links. But I thought it was a really awesome. Honestly, I've seen a lot of really like well-made, inspiring documentaries, and this was probably yeah. I would say that this was number one because. Um, I have lived on this planet for 19 years and I have never considered changing my diet to save the planet ever and all it took was like what an hour and 30 minutes of this video and I have pretty much like I just got I got to figure out some things but I pretty much decided to just completely go vegan essentially the film was about livestock agriculture and how it is the number one contributor to pollution, air pollution, um, any of that stuff. And for those of you that don't know, cattle actually produce like a ton of methane in their stomachs and um, release it basically through farts. And <laughs> so they produce a ton of that and it just goes straight up into the atmosphere. And so they said one statistic in the video that all the total emissions from cars, all of that in our world is 18, 13%, and um, all of the animal livestock emission is 51%. That's huge. And it just like, it, the film highlighted how all these huge organizations like Greenpeace, um, Oceana, and other agricultural places like that weren't, um, they, they weren't None of their websites say anything about this, and no one talks about it. And even though it's such a hot button topic, no one, God damn it. no one says anything about it. And I thought it was, it's crazy. Um, I can't really tell you much more. It does cost ten dollars to watch the film, but I would definitely recommend watching it. I'm gonna recommend watching it to everyone. Aaron and Mark won't watch it, but they should. And. I don't know, it was crazy. Like I said, one of the one of the most life-changing documentaries that I've ever seen. And for for me in the span of an hour and a half to completely want to change my diet because of this video, it, I think is pretty crazy. If you don't want to watch it and you want me to break down the ultimate goal of the video, it was to it, it was veganism will save the world basically. Um and that's why I'm gonna try and do this. So the cool thing is I'll document it all because I take videos of my life and I'll and I'm gonna do it and I'm I have been doing this for hundred and ninety five days now and I guess I could pretty much say I'm a very persistent motherfucker. And <laughs> I don't know, I don't give up very easy. So we'll see how it goes and I'll document it all and I'll kinda of show you guys how to do it and show you how I'm gonna approach it and it should be fun. Um, and I know I kind of ended the video on a less artsy way or in a less artsy way and usually I, I do some cool things but it's been a laid back day and we've had to do homework so this is what it is and like I said Couchroversy uh, awesome documentary watch it please if not remember veganism will save the world uh, and that's the end of the video today so don't forget to tell a friend about this here channel on YouTube. Embrace your weird. And I will see you guys, as always, tomorrow. Peace. Just a heads up. I just broke my glass. That just happened. Good job, Joey.